Hi! I'm back with my vlog that will talk about my experience as a mixed scholarship scholar in Japan and today I'm going to talk to you about my first impressions regarding my studies. Okay, one thing that I'll obviously be studying is Japanese, although this is just a bonus. So I took this placement exam actually while I was uh, still in France and it was so tough. It was so much harder than the JLPT. I have an M4 um, certificate, but actually the test took me to a group, placed me in a group where I was supposed to be preparing for the M4. And I attended two of these classes. I thought they were a little bit too easy, of course, and there was an option to try to change um, the class I've been put in. So I did that, I had to book a slot, I had to talk with a supervisor and they placed me in the next level, which is um, officially it's preparation for uh, the N3 exam. The textbook is Minano Nihongo uh, Intermediate 1, a pink one if you're familiar with these. And right now it is hard <laughs> it is definitely hard and i feel like i am not as advanced as uh, most of the people in my class but i'm perfectly cool with that i'm happy to learn as much as i can and i am the only one at the moment who is still joining the class on zoom most people are already there so I'm kind of trying to tell myself that maybe they've been in Japan for a while and so on and so forth but anyway it doesn't matter I want to learn as much as possible and I will learn more if the level is harder what I'm here for mostly is a research project that falls within the sphere of like I said before computing or to be extremely exact machine translation and that is machine translation with the Japanese and Bulgarian language pair, a pretty rare language pair. Um, I don't know to what extent my audience uh, would be into the subject area. In case you are not, basically there is the wide field of artificial intelligence, then a big part of it is machine learning or neural networks as a case study of it. And within machine learning, there is natural language processing or all the systems that have to do with language and linguistics. That can be things like sentiment analysis, like is a review positive or negative, for example, like the computer being able to make this out given um, statistical information. And then to go one step further into something more narrow, there is machine translation, this specific task. And on the other hand, machine translation is a part of computational linguistics as a field. So computers and linguistics coming together. The way um, departments are organized in Japanese universities is very specific. So people that study the same narrow subject area, in my case machine translation or natural language processing, form a lab. This is a unit where you get scholars of all levels, starting from uh, people still studying for their bachelor's degree, but maybe toward the end of it, then masters, um, PhD and the professors. So there is a bit of a hierarchy but the subject area is the same so you can really gain a lot of experience from the people around you and of course that's mostly from the people above you in terms of how long they've studied the subject but i'm pretty sure discussing with uh, even people who are in the beginning of their studies can sometimes be of help i know i can be of help sometimes i hope the lab unit is very friendly like we're going hiking next week i'm so looking forward to it getting out of the hotel and seeing some 
South Japan. So there are different weekly events organized by the lab. Some of them are online, some aren't, so I haven't been part of all of them yet. Um, I might be helping the others out by teaching them English. For example, there is lunch meetings. I participated in one this week and I had to present myself like not academically but kind of personally hobbies and interests and so on if it had not been online it would have been us eating together there is also activities like paper reading someone presents a paper in front of everyone else the one that's a little bit stressful and that i participated in once already is the weekly research meeting where everyone presents their progress in what they're doing um, having completed and uploaded beforehand um, progress report, basically a PDF file that talks about what you've done this week, what problems you've encountered and what you plan to do next. And stressful as it sounds, actually you get a lot of help by sharing what's going on. And actually I felt like mine went well, even though I was stressed out in the beginning, because when people started presenting, I don't know what level they were at, maybe I guess they were pursuing PhD, I hope, but it just seemed so complex. Um, and then I was literally there saying, yeah, well, I played with some fonts today. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating, not playing with fonts, but I really had a problem displaying um, Japanese letters and Cyrillic letters uh, in the console but I didn't feel in any way like I was being pressured or judged uh, it really felt like it's an opportunity to get help if you need it and even before me joining a meeting like when I was back in France and I was just having several conversations, mostly in writing, with uh, other people from the lab. I was told that I am welcome to ask questions at any time, which is great because sometimes I get so stuck. I guess everyone studying computer-based areas gets stuck sometimes. You're just like, I don't know what to do. You know, there's these forums, there's um, uh, these problems that people have posted about on the internet but sometimes you're just missing something very basic and you just can't move on unless someone helps you so I hope I'm not annoying but I am asking for help at first I was not even confident with the environment um, my colleagues are Linux fans I'm a regular Windows user I had to connect to the university server even when I was back in France this was not easy, or at least it wasn't something I had done before. Now I guess I would be able to do it if I had to. Like, to give you an example to, of what I do, today I spent hours, basically the whole working day, just trying to make out a mistake in a database that had 500,000 entries of parallel data, Bulgarian sentence, Japanese sentence. Uh, somewhere there was one sentence that was that when I changed the format of the data was becoming two sentences and basically spoiling everything. I can't do anything with a data set that does not have the same number of entries um, in the two languages in what is supposed to be completely parallel data. So with complete like what would be brute force I had to uh, divide and conquer and find this one line that just made everything go wrong and I was so happy when I did but I didn't do anything else today well actually I did um, another thing I do which I have set as a rule for myself is in order to catch up with um, the large area of um, machine translation or even machine learning I attend some online courses particularly in Cor Coursera I attended one on uh, machine translation. I just finished it. Then I'm taking a longer one on um, machine learning organized by Stanford University. That's a very famous course. I'm actually auditing them. It's not that I'm uh, completing any coursework or anything, but I spent an hour or two a day watching the videos. And another one I'm taking in parallel is uh, organized by a Russian university called uh, HSE 
and it talks about natural language processing. Basically, all of them are related to my uh, area of research more or less narrowly. And I feel like it's a lot of help. Like, I feel like my knowledge is building up. Like, I feel more often that I know what people are talking about when they just, you know, shoot at you all these terms linked to machine learning models and neural networks and so on. Just, um, there's still a lot I don't know, but I do feel changes every day, which feels good. And also I try to read uh, at least one paper every day, if possible related to my research that I can um, include in the literature review. All right, I hope this made sense. I don't know if it does to me. I'm still getting used to the rhythm of my university and studies and we'll see together where it takes me. Thank you. Bye bye.